hey guys what's up so this is continuations of hybrid framework and in our framework we are left with only log integrations after that framework will be complete ready just we need to add the script and we need to add the page library right but from framework side will be 100 percent ready so to do that uh, we'll be using log4j and i have shown you in the previous class we have added dependency for the log4j so what i will do is i will show you with the coding part how we can achieve that uh, to do that this log4j dot properties what we need to do is we need to add i mean at the project level you can create log4j dot properties file actually or you can just add this file so it's normal uh, properties file so if you'll do right click and if you'll go to the new here you have a file so you can write log4j dot properties this file we need to understand what are the things we have we don't need to remember but we need to understand your first line should be your root logger log4j dot root logger so what is the root logger like what you want to do so i want to do two things i want to log the informations in the file as well as in the console the eclipse console as well as in the file which file we will give so we need to write info log file comma extender output then we need to define the appender to write the log in the console as well as in the file we need to define the appender so uh, to write in the file we need to write a file appender so we'll be using the package org apache log 4 dot file appender and in this file i want to uh, write the log so i want to write a log in the automations dot out file and when we say appender is equal to true which means it will not delete your previous log when you make false every time it will generate a new log file then when we want to log what is the pattern i want to follow i want to follow the pattern layout so the pattern layout should be in the terms of yy mmdd r minute second and this is the formatter okay this is the formatter which will format your log in terms of year month day hour minute and second and i want to keep maximum size of 4 mb after that i want to keep maximum backup of 9 after 9 uh, it will delete every time right and this is for console appender so in the eclipse console also we want to write the log so we can use this console appender here we have to use console appender and again we have to write target is equal to system dot out because the system out basically is nothing but your eclipse console appender and here also i want to follow the pattern is equal to yy mmddy format after that once you have these properties ready we need to register this property right so wherever we are loading the properties file in our framework just add it there why because in any script that is going to be the first part of your test script because first you need to load the properties file so i just wrote log4j con path is equal to log4j properties because it is available at my uh, project location so i don't need to write the path even i will suggest to you guys also write at the project so you don't need to supply the path you just need to write this and then properties configurator we need to import so do a right click import org.apache log4j so this will get imported now uh, if you want to use a log4j what you do is in your test base you have to you have to write first line as a public static final logger uh, this uh, you can use for this apache log4j logger logger is equal to logger dot get logger the second one and name so you can write here your class name dot class dot get name that's how we need to write so now your logger is registered now how do you use that so you can wherever you want to use you can just write the information so let's say i want to write the information here so i can write logger dot log right? so i want to log that so i'll write uh, logger dot log and i want to write the some message right so this is our logger i'll use logger dot info and i will write here loading config dot properties here i will write loading config dot properties similarly i can write here loading or dot properties so this is handy for us 
by looking the report we will come to know what are the properties file got loaded because this is just a print statement and loading home page dot properties now if i just run this right click run as java applications because in the down i am calling the method uh, here i am just calling the method you guys can see that right it says that loading config loading over loading home page as well as you will get very nice report saying that from test base line number 95 this code got executed from test base line number 100 from test base line number 105 and 2017 06 25 and this is the time and it's all in full off right so this you will get in the console apart from that if you refresh your project if you refresh your project here you will get something called here we should get automations dot out so if you open this open with text editor here see here also you can uh, get that and this record will not get deleted so let's say if i run one more time as a java application since we since we have written log appender is equal to true see you can see that three more record got updated but we have a time stamp so with the time stamp will come to know how many discuss got executed apart from that let's say if you want to use this logger in some other class also so what we can do uh, if i go to the src main uh, we have some excel code right so let's say we have excel code so here also if you really want to use that again we have to write here first line is equal to public static A static because we don't want to make the object i would i just want to call that without making the object and this is final so not be capital logger logger is equal to logger dot get logger and the class name so we have to write excel reader so wherever you want to use you need to use like this get name right so here also your logger is registered so you can uh, let's say if you write some statement so you can write that logger dot info uh, you can write that here creating excel object right plus you can uh, give the excel locations right so it will get printed in your report so that's how logger works guys and i hope that you guys will utilize this framework in your company also code is ready now i will just add some script and i will show you how we can add that in going forward so thank you guys thank you for watching this if you like this video hit like button and subscribe my youtube channel thank you once again guys